Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew coming to you from about to be rainy Costa Rica. Today's topic is going to be why you don't quit. Think about that for a minute. Guys, if you like the content, please subscribe. So this thumbnail is self-explanatory of why you don't quit. It's very, it's gonna, I'm gonna dig into it. It's gonna be very simple if you really identify and understand what I'm mentioning to you. There's a reason why you're not gonna quit. There's a reason why you don't quit. And it's because you were with a narcissist and or you are still in the narcissistic relationship. And this relationship, or perhaps relationships, they have tested you to, to your core. Remember, like I mentioned on the channel so frequently, your resources are exactly what the narcissist wanted. They wanted to take away your energy, your beauty, your aura, your glow, your positivity, your love, your money, everything you have, they wanted to take it from you because that enhances them and it depreciates you. You see, the narcissist is always jumping from relationship to relationship to get unsuspecting individuals who don't, do not have the education and or awareness on the narcissistic abusive cycle. And these are the people that they prey upon. These are the people they take from. This is exactly why the narcissist many times does not have long-term friends or relationships. And that's why they jump from town to town, relationship to relationship, business to business, always on the prowl looking for new unsuspecting people who don't have the education but why you don't quit it's it's this perhaps you're in a relationship right now and perhaps you are getting divorced let's say as an example or you are trying to leave the narcissist let's say that they are a roommate or they're living in the same they're a neighbor whomever the thing is once you've identified this person that they're toxic and that they want to take you down in the cesspool with them you can't quit you see, you need to have your boundaries. You need to insulate yourself, protect yourself. You need to learn to say no. You need to understand that you are the priority. You come first, second, and third. And another reason why you won't quit is because you need, you need to do this yourself. You see, there's gonna be nobody that, that knocks on your door, door one day and says, hey, do you want help? Can I help you with something? It's just not gonna happen. I know it's tough love. It's difficult to wrap your head around, but on this planet, you are you have to look out for yourself. That's why I mentioned so frequently, you are the priority, you come first, second, and third. Because remember, when you're in the relationship with the narcissist, most likely you trusted them and you didn't have boundaries and you were believing that they had your best interest at heart. They don't, they never have, and they never will. The narcissist works under cloak and dagger. They are a wolf in sheep's clothing, if you will, many times. Many times they, they, they appear to you as they are somebody when in fact they're abs absolutely somebody completely different. That's the mask that they wear. And it's not until you get the education on channels like mine and, and many others, and again, thank you very much for being here, that you get your light bulb moments, that you understand, I can't quit. I need, to, I need to keep moving forward. I need to take action. I need to do things to protect myself, which again, I suggest and recommend highly, if you can do so, to block them, go no contact, delete, remove all fly monkeys and the people associated with the narcissist. Now, many people can't do that for various reasons. I understand that. In that case, what you need to do is not quit either, but continue to move forward and continue to minimize your exposure with the narcissist, perhaps utilizing gray rock, perhaps take the next step of action. Example here, let's say that you haven't blocked them yet and they're contacting you through email, text, and phone call, as an example. Well, if you're getting stronger and you're, you're recognizing this, and you're sensing it, and you're feeling it, Maybe it's time to remove one of those three avenues of communication. Example, maybe you no longer receive their phone calls. And then you take steps that insulate you, that protect you, that benefit you. Because keep in mind, the narcissist wants you around as long as you will tolerate their poor behavior, as long as you will give them money, as long as you will be their arm candy, as long as you will be there to support them, as long as you will continue to fall for the manipulating techniques that they display, as long as you will listen to them claiming that they're a victim as long as they blame shift you see so many times people they, they feel like they can't go on and I'm, I'm kind of changing direction here but it's true many times they believe people get pushed to the brink and perhaps they actually do experience the dark night of the soul and they understand that wow I am a completely changed person now I've come through the fire I understand and now recognize that there are toxic individuals on this planet and that not everybody has my best interest at heart and this is when you don't quit. Example, if you did go through the dark night of the soul, or if you were tested, or, or pushed, or you're, you, were, you were pushed to the limit, to the core of your existence, did you quit? Didn't, that's why you're here on the channel. 
That's why you're getting wisdom. That's why you're sharing your experiences and insight with the community because you're not a quitter. There aren't any quitters on this channel. There are only people that are getting stronger each and every day and are sharing the knowledge and passing it on to people that perhaps don't know what narcissism is. You see, quitting is not what we do on the channel. We fight, we move forward, we continue to believe in ourselves and we continue to understand that we are the priority. And quitting, it, we can't do it, we won't do it, we won't allow this to happen, why? Because we've already been tested. And yes, we will be tested again in different capacities, I'm certain. Example, maybe you start a business and it's, it's not doing that well right now, we'll put more energy into it. Remember, where you place your energy is where you, where you place your attention, is where you place your energy. The thing is, after you come through the narcissistic abusive cycle, believe me when I tell you, you've been tested about as far as a human being can be tested, and you are a rare and, and, and exemplary, that's not a word, a rare and super strong individual, and what you've done is you've come through the fire, or maybe perhaps right now you are coming through the fire, and you're understanding that, wow, I can't believe these people are all around me, but they are, and I need to actually have boundaries and I'm not gonna quit, I'm not gonna stop. So another example, let's say that you were discarded, and if you were, my heart goes out to you. If you were discarded, what you will find is you're going through some of the darkest days of your existence, some of the darkest days that you will ever go through, because most likely you are in or were isolated, and your resources have been depleted. The smear campaign is fully underway. You've lost friends that you believed in, you've lost probably some family members along the way also. Perhaps the job isn't going too well, because you don't have the energy to give to all these things and or many of these things have been taken from you. But if you've survived and or you've made it out of the discard and you're building yourself back up, this is a prime example why you won't quit. You didn't quit, there's no reason to ever quit. So I know many times there were, there were days that you didn't want to get out of bed. There were many times you didn't want to eat. Perhaps you lost a lot of weight. Perhaps you couldn't even focus on work. Perhaps you, you couldn't believe that the betrayal of this person who turned out to be the narcissist Wrapping your head around narcissism in general is a whole different thing. How could you have gone your whole life without even knowing what narcissism was? And then boom, here you are. After a long period of time, you were in a relationship with a narcissist. You didn't even know it until right now because now you're getting the education. You didn't quit then, you're not gonna quit now. You see, the narcissist also banks on you not quitting. Understand this, the narcissist banks on you, who most likely is an empath, certainly a strong individual if you're on the channel, they banked on you not quitting the relationship. They wanted you in the narcissistic fog. They wanted you working for them, which is the narcissist. Again, you didn't know that you were with a narcissist, but when they saw you and understood and did the reconnaissance and research about you, figured out what made you tick, they said, oh my goodness, this person, which turned out to be you, is such a great source of supply. This person is gonna do all of my errands for me. They're gonna pay all the bills. They're gonna plan for all the vacations. They're gonna take care of the kids while I am out gallivanting around the globe doing whatever I'm doing. That's exactly what, what they saw in you. They didn't see in you, what they didn't see in you is a quitter, and that's a fact. Now, I'm not giving the narcissist any credit. I'm just saying the narcissist only goes after quality people, people that have so much value, people that many times don't even see their own value. Play that again. But why you won't quit, there's no reason to quit. You've made it this far in life. This is. The next chapter of your life is just about to begin if you've healed and or if you are on the healing path. Great things are gonna happen to you, they really will, with you, once you process the narcissistic relationship and you understand that it is, it is in the past, it, it happened, it's real. Perhaps you practice radical acceptance and you understand that you had to go through that relationship to get to this point in time, which is where you are with me right here, right now. That is the fact. That is the path, that, that's exactly, there was no other way for you to experience life than to go through this relationship. I know it's a difficult thing to understand, but it's true. And the sooner you actually understand and identify that this relationship that was the narcissistic relationship, that you gave everything, you didn't quit, you gave it all until the mask slipped and then you understood that this person was a narcissist and or is a narcissist and you want nothing to do with them because they wanna tear you down. When you get that message, that's when you understand, oh my goodness, I need to get away from this person which is the narcissist. I need to heal, I need to learn about myself. I need to become awakened and aware and I need to get all the knowledge and the wisdom on the narcissistic abusive cycle and what part it played in, in the relationship with me. After you do, you do all that, again, you're not quitting. Remember, you are not quitting, you're moving forward, you're getting stronger, you're becoming galvanized. After that, when you come through the fire and you rise through the fire like a phoenix out of the ashes, this is the third version of you. On the channel I mentioned frequently, there are three versions of you. There's a version of you before you met the narcissist, 
There's the version of you in the narcissistic relationship when you're in the narcissistic fog. And there's the third version of you, which is where you are now, at least that's my hope, when you're putting yourself back together and you're understanding your value, you have boundaries, you can say the magic word no, you can not be a people pleaser or a yes person. But when you come through the fire, you understand your value. And you, now you can see what the narcissist saw in you when you could not see it yourself in the past. This is beautiful. This is a good thing. This is why you won't quit. Another reason why you won't quit is because you have so much to offer this planet called Earth. Like I mentioned, maybe you're gonna read a book, write a book, take a class, teach a class, travel the world. Maybe you're gonna donate your time, your energy, your efforts, your wisdom. You're gonna share experiences and insight with people. This is what you must do. If not now, when? You see, you, you, no matter what age you are, you've gone through an awful lot on this planet. Whether you're 20 or whether you're 90, it doesn't matter. The point is you are here and you're experiencing life. And if you've come through the fire of the narcissistic relationship, you're a, you're a very strong person. Whether you've healed or not, perhaps you are still healing. Perhaps the healing path for you is taking longer than expected. That's fine. It just means you have to put more work into yourself. Example, perhaps you have to discover childhood wounds and address those. That's for a whole different video. But why you won't quit is because you're a winner. You're not a quitter. The narcissist, they saw in you such beauty and they saw, to, they looked to extinguish your bright light and take from you and they did for a period of time which was the length of the narcissistic relationship. They can't do that any longer because now you see that the mask has slipped. You see who they are. You want nothing to do with them and more importantly going forward, you don't tolerate any other toxic individuals. That's why you won't quit because your purpose on this planet is so much greater than you know. It's a fact. So guys, that's the video from Barry Rainey, Costa Rica. This is Andrew. Have a great day. Continue to become awakened and aware and understand that you are beautiful, you are loved, and don't quit. As my father taught me when I was a young teenager, he said, Andrew, if you start something, you finish it. And he taught me that very well. One season of football practice, I wanted to quit. I mentioned this in the previous video. I wanted to quit. I came home after practice one summer afternoon after having three practices back then. We had triple, triple sessions of practice. It was tough. Point is, I came home and I said, Dad, I want to quit. I don't want to do this. I'm not getting playing time. And he just sat me down and said, Andrew, you started. You're already a month and a half into this practice during summertime. You're going to finish it. You're going to play the season. And if you want to not join the football team next year, don't do it. But you already started. I did not, I did not and or I am not raising a quitter as a son. And I looked at him and said, I understand, Dad. And you know what I did? I went to practice. I, to practice. And I did not miss any games or anything. And I gave my best effort. Did I get a lot of playing time? No, I didn't. But you know what? I stayed with the team. And I was a team player. But I did not quit. So guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I love doing it. From beautiful Costa Rica, this is Andrew. I'll talk to you guys soon. No matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. And you are loved. God bless you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye.